everybody. The Toronto International Film Festival kicks off today and of course it will look very different this year due to the pandemic. No red carpets or gatherings but there are still plenty of incredible films to see and important conversations to be had. Joining us this morning are the heads of TIFF. We have Joanna Vicente and Cameron Bailey will be checking in. We just had a technical difficulty so hopefully he'll uh, come through sometime during this interview. But Joanna, good morning. How are you? Good, good. Very excited. It's finally here. Listen, so. it has been such an interesting time and year for all things TIFF. We're usually anticipating, you know, red carpets and galas. How did you approach this? Because we are in the middle of a pandemic. Yes, yeah, so we we talked to a lot of people in the industry. We talked a lot with government officials. We followed the situation, and uh, and then we knew that we had to have a digital component. So that if people couldn't get together and we couldn't do in-person screenings or drive-ins, that we would always have a platform. And we saw that as an opportunity. We have a ten-day period of great films, interesting talks, intimate conversations, and the chance for filmmakers to really develop their careers, connect with audiences, sell their films, and for the city of Toronto to come together and with our delegates and press participants from all over the world. So we're really excited. And, and now we're also having screenings at the Tifta Lightbox. We're having drive-in screenings every night at uh, the Visa drive-in at City View and the uh, RBC uh, Skyline drive-in at uh, Ontario Place. Yeah, and uh, it's such we an also exciting have an outdoor time. screening um, as well at Ontario Place. That's it. There's lots to see and do, whether you're watching it virtually, whether you're going in person physically to see something, as you just mentioned. There's so many ways to celebrate film, and it's such a great way to get them out there and create that Oscar buzz. Why not celebrate it? Of course, we have to. You've been doing this, plowing away since 1976. So let's talk about a lot of interesting and important programming, like Share Her Journey. What is that? So Share Her Journey is our campaign to support women filmmakers to try to get to a place where there's actually equity um, in, in all forms. We really have done a lot of work. It's amazing that we have six filmmakers this year in selection. One of them, Michelle Latimer, actually with two projects. Uh, so really excited that the efforts on supporting women filmmakers through their careers, participating in different labs, giving them access to mentorship, etc., that that really has uh, some results. We're also going to be doing a lot of conversations, whether it's about the, the industry or how producers can support these filmmakers and, and, and get more uh, representation in the crews that they hire. To Halle Berry, who's the actress and director yes. this year with the film at TIFF. Lots of conversations. Oh, it's so exciting. Okay, I need some of your picks. What are the ones to watch, the must sees? Give me a couple. Okay, so I'll go with the women filmmakers. Uh, tomorrow we have Chloe Zhao, uh, Nomad Land. Really excited about that. And uh, and also, I love the first time filmmakers, Emma Seligman's film, Shiva Baby, Tracy Deers, Beans. And um, I'll go with those. Very cool. And just in the nick of time, as if it's an exciting Hollywood <laughs> finish, Cameron Bailey. Yeah. Yay! So good to see hey, you. Hey, Nina. How are you oh, doing? How are you? So sorry for the technical glitch. Listen, it doesn't matter. It's so good to see you. Usually it's in a very different capacity, as Joanna was so beautifully describing earlier. Here we are. It's a pandemic landscape. But TIFF 2020 is going strong. So what are you most looking forward to over the course of the next 10 days? I am super excited about tonight. It's our opening night. We're opening with a Spike Lee joint for the very first time. It's called David Burns' American Utopia. If you remember all the great Talking Heads hits from the uh, the 80s and 90s and his own solo work, he's turned that into a show. It was a Broadway show. It's really uplifting and joyous, makes you dance, but it's also connected to what's going on right now in terms of protests and, and the calls for justice. And it's a, an inspiring movie. Mm -hmm. What about Oscar buzz? You guys are always on the pulse when it comes to looking into that Oscar red carpet, the gala, whatever it's going to look like. TIFF is the one that puts them on the map. It's where we generate that buzz. What are you thinking are those must-sees if people want to definitely go check something out? What should it be? 
I think there's some incredible performances this year that are going to light up award season. You're going to want to see uh, Kate Winslet in Ammonite. You're going to want to see Halle Berry in Bruised, which she also directed. And then Regina King, who's coming off her Oscar last year for If Beale Street Could Talk, she's directed a film as well called One Night in Miami, also a really strong film. Any tips for people who are thinking, you know what, I'm going to try and do this this year. There's no red carpets or galas in that sense, but in terms of anything happening, press conferences that are digital or how fun is like the, the fact that the drive-ins are happening again that's kind of a silver lining out of all of this right kicking it yeah. old school if you remember drive-ins or if you've never been to one in your life i think you'll, you'll find it a super fun experience there's also so much going on online uh conversations with people like saoirse ronan and ava duvernay uh, happening and those are available uh, to everyone all over the world wishing you both a wonderful tip i know you put so much work into this joanna and cameron so good to see you both it's going to be an awesome run tiff 2020 kicks off today tiff.net go check it out love to you we'll be back with more bt Thank right you. after this Bye. Thank you. Bye.